Good morning, everybody. It is about 4.55 a.m. The birds are starting to chirp. Dawn. Dawn is when you, the sky starts to lighten up. Sunrise is when you can see the top of the sun rising. So dawn is first. Did it dawn on you that you have to have the Spirit of God dwelling in you to understand the spiritual word? Many organizations out there <coughs> have some degree or belief of Christianity, and half of those are not born of the Spirit. There's two simple things in Scripture. <clears throat> Paul asked, Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Uh, is the one and the important one I just mentioned. And it's a belief in a confession of the Lord Jesus Christ, confessing Jesus as Lord. Okay? Lord you know where I read in Ephesians or Philippians two chapters to get to this place. Forgive me for my sins, transgressions, and iniquities. Flow through me and speak through me now as you would have your word taught. In the name of the Lord Christ Jesus, head of all things to his body, the church on earth. All right, there's a head of all spiritual heavenly and creation then there's head of all things to his body on earth the elect called chosen placed with a gift to edify the body unto maturity and responsibility that's a whole lot, but I teach word phrases such as spirit, soul, or one, heart, mind, okay? I'm not quick of mind this morning. Lukewarm coffee. As I said earlier, I read two chapters of Philippians, the joy rejoice letter that you have to jump over when you study Colossians and Ephesians or Colossians and Laodicea together. Ephesians has two names, two, T-W, true witness. Truth is found in scriptures in repetition, twos, threes, and fours. There is one friend of mine that I've known for over 10 years, and somehow, someway, she remembers my birthday and takes me out to breakfast on my birthday. That is Marcia, whom I love dearly in the Lord. I have high respect for her. She didn't realize that all the times that I talked about her, it was because of my love and high respect for her that I boasted in her and of her. So anyway, uh, so much for that. I'm going to read in Ephesians <clears throat> what it's all about. It's about this. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, the Godhead, the deity. Give Jesus his deity, call him Lord, for he truly is. The Lord is in the power of his might, El, first strong and almighty, El Shaddai, almighty, all-sufficient provider, breastfeeder, and that's the, the chest within. Bowels is the center being within, okay? <clears throat> uh, and in the power of his might, Put on the whole armor of God. Now, in all the put-ons in Scripture, in the New Testament, New Covenant, now today message, there's a putting off. There's things that we have to do and confess and put to death, 
nail to our cross, take up your cross and follow me. And we nail our old nature to our cross and reckon him dead, starve him, all right? And take up the new nature, the spirit word, the truth of God, and apply it in our minds and to our lives, our actions, our speaking. All right, verse 11. I am reading in Ephesians, Lady Osea, the foundation circulation letter to the Christ anointed church. Chapter 6 of Ephesians, the 11th verse, if you're following along. Put on the whole armor of God, and that ye may be able to stand. <clears throat> I'm reading King James 1611. Here's the first time of stand with stand, stand, stand. So let's just read till we get through that. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood only. You've got to put the word only in there because it is spiritual in and through the enemy also. It's spiritual in us, Christ dwelling in us. So we are the vessels, all right, the living vessels, clay cups, living temple vessel for the Holy Spirit. And out there, there is darkness, living dead ones, flesh that the enemy works through. It's just not all spiritual. Be aware of the human fleshly man that stands in the pulpit in vain, speaking falsehoods and lies. That's what vain is all about. Do not connect my authority, power, and name with a falsehood or a lie. Do not use my power, authority, and name in a lie, a falsehood, or vainly. That's what vain really means. It's not a profane word. And I don't need to say a profane word. For you educated people, you know that the F word is a horrible word. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's profanity. It shows your low IQ as far as I'm concerned, wrong or right. That's my personal opinion. I must state so when it's the word of God, thus saith the Lord, repetitiously, two, three, four, the simple fact is truth is found and made clear. It's not implied. It doesn't keep you in the gray area. It brings you out into light where it's clear and seen clearly by the Holy Spirit, Spirit glory light, light brighter than the noonday sun or the moon. The greater light the sun, the lesser light the moon that was created on the fourth day and on the first day, let there be light and the light was good. That's the clear, truthful, glory light of God on the first day of the first event in Genesis. Whew. Let's read on. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood only, right in only there. In fact, I'm going to do it right now because it's not in this. I'm giving this Bible to my brother back in Michigan to keep. It's a super giant print and it's all marked up by his older brother. And we do love each other and respect each other. My brother Clay, he's the youngest of four brothers and sisters, or two and two, two sisters, two brothers. I'm the firstborn oldest. Flesh and blood only, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, realm, realm or world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able. And it's ye may be able up in verse 11 and in 13. True witness. Be, grace be, be able, be. Be able to stand, true witness, stand for the second time. Okay. Did I miss withstand? Hmm. Be able to stand. Okay, in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore. Well, this is King James 1611. Some of the translations say stand, withstand, stand, stand. Verse 14, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of right or righteousness. Is your truth right? Okay. The truth that you live by or stand by, is it your truth or is it 
God's spirit word truth. There's the difference. We all have a type of truth. You have your own personal truths that you've lived and believe, but do you know and understand the spiritual truths of the eternal word of God? All right, verse 15. And you've shod and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And I'm going to say the mystery of Christ, the gospel of peace. All right. Number three, peace. Above all, take the shield of faith in. It's no longer faith alone. It's not an invisible bucket of faith, unseen faith, childlike faith. It's mature, responsible, grown-up faith in Christ. Do you Have you learned Christ? Can you teach Christ? Do you preach Christ? There's plural many meanings to the English word Christ. It has to do with deity, a title. Also has to do with anointing. Also has to do with Messiah Christ, the sent one, the just one, the son of God, the anointed one. Many meanings of Christ. All right. Christ in you, the hope of glory, is the mystery. Many meanings of Christ. All right. Faith. Whereof ye shall be able, there is be able again for the third time, to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. You will be shot at with fire, spiritual fiery darts by the evil one, Satan, the wicked, or wicked, seemingly lovingly truthful pastors in the pulpit. They'll shoot at you to get your money, to get wealthy, to have their multi-million dollar organization off of free labor. <laughs> Christianity gets a lot of free labor. They don't have to pay for it. Oh, I won't chase that rabbit. I almost did. Uh, middle of 16. Wherefore ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Take upon you the helmet of salvation, Shua. That's why you need to know the name in English, Jesus converted to the name in Hebrew, Yahshua, because Shua has meaning, and I add a silent H, S-H-U-A dash H, okay? There's a reason for that. That's another teaching, Yahshua, with an H added for two H's, two mercies, two fives. That makes it similar to the Father's name, who has two H's. Two grace and mercies, two fives that equal ten. The stick man with his hands raised, two of them, the male and the female, the ish and the isha. All right. Whole other teaching there. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation, Shua, and the sword of the spirit. Name, above name, another A. A handle below the cross part. Two lines up for the double-edged sword, authority, power, glory, light, truth, life. Three or four teachings there. We're down to 20-some seconds. It didn't beep. I got 13 and a half minutes here. Okay, the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, glory, light, good, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication. There we go. I got a minute to get out. We jump down the end of uh, 18, <clears throat> 618. And I want to jump over to uh, 19. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly. I speak to you boldly now to make known, make known what? Make known the mystery of Christ in you dwelling the gospel of peace, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly to you. Do you know the mystery, the gospel, the gospel, the mystery. The mystery is Christ in you dwelling. Without that, you're none of his. And the gospel of peace. Do you have the Holy Spirit word of peace in you? Love you. Bye.